Behind me is the Archer, the most automated self-propelled howitzer there is. It is one of eight Archer systems delivered to Ukraine by Sweden and it has finally arrived for the first real battle test in the harsh conditions of eastern Ukraine. Let's see what the crew has to say about it. Before our training trip, my friend told me this was the best thing in artillery that was ever invented. And now I realize he was right. This is a very technologically advanced machine. It may very well be ahead of its time. We can rely on Yuri's words. Just like his crewmates, Yuri has been an artilleryman since the start of the full-scale war, giving him two years of active combat experience. Most of this time Yuri spent fighting as a gunner of a D-20, a Soviet out howitzer produced since the 50s. It features zero automation. It's literally the hammer of the artillery world, and in that sense the archer is a complete opposite. It is very maneuverable. The deployment time is 30 seconds. This is the best indicator among self-propelled artillery systems. I believe that the archer is a sniper howitzer. It hits straight on target, not aiming in squares, but directly into it, literally in one to two shots. In a way, switching to the archer for this crew was like learning a new language. One of the requirements for an archer's gunner position is an office classic, moderate computer skills. But it's not just the crew who had to go through a two-month express course. Out of around 100 soldiers, 70 were engineers who had to be prepared to maintain these complex systems. For me, it's crazy to see this modern design on the roads of the Donetsk region. This thing next to the Soviet tanks just freaks you out. Even the soldiers are like, what is this thing? But uh, they're probably just jealous. They want to shoot from it. Unlike the crew, this is the archer's first real combat deployment. It is no walk in the park. So the question arises, how did it perform during these few months on the front line? If we're lucky, after we hit a target, we receive video confirmation. How many videos have you collected so far? I'm building up my collection. I have enemy ammo warehouses, enemy groupings, and armored machinery so far. Yuri's favorite feature is the automation. The crew doesn't have to leave the armored cabin when on a mission at all. Theoretically, it could be operated by just one person. That, as well as the 30 km range with a standard shell, makes it a state-of-the-art system. So when this kind of a beast arrives on the battlefield, how does the enemy cope? I haven't heard any Russian radio chatter or anything like that, but the power of the archer is definitely a test for that. Do they not like it? I think they're not particularly happy about it. 